Uh, let's just put it into perspective. And I mentioned there that uh, this uh, investment and developmental body is actually assisting economies, parts of the economy, which investors uh, would otherwise overlook. You have invested around uh, $350 million over uh, you know, the last few years since 2009. I know that you're focusing on a lot of very sensitive areas. Give us an indication of what headway you've made since that 2009 period. Well, good afternoon. And since 2009, we have been uh, working in several areas. And uh, this amount of money that have been invested was from private investors, mainly in industry, uh, in the Nakala Special Economic Zone area. Uh, Dr. Nala, if we could just touch on the three uh, large investment projects that you are currently looking at right now. I know that, again, we keep talking about Mozambique being the gateway into southern Africa. Uh, how is this now going to position yourselves to ensure that you do meet this target? Yes, this, uh, this three main projects that we are negotiating now are more uh, the very large project. One on a fertilizer plant that will use... Uh, the, the phosphatus that uh, we have in the north of the country, which is a very, very big and important project. Uh, the, 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 the other one uh, is um, a, a smelter for the heavy sands that uh, also we have uh, in the north. Uh, and the third one is more on infrastructure on ports. So these are the, the, the projects that, of yeah. course, because it's a big project, they will come uh, uh, around that big project, the small ones. Okay, what's interesting, and I mentioned the $350 million since 2009, and these three projects in all are going to, of course, amount to around a $5 billion uh, investment. So it seems that you uh, are moving very quickly in terms of bringing that number up since 2009. What has changed so dramatically as you're seeing such heavy investment in such a short period of time? Yeah, we have to, 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 to look at these two figures in different ways. This $350 million is this uh, uh, medium uh, and small scale. The other one is the big, big project. What, what, what we change is the policy itself. The policy of special economic zones, as you mentioned in the beginning, is policy that we can uh, attract investors, giving them incentives to go to the places that uh, will normally not go, and uh, the places that have um, uh, uh, natural conditions, they have uh, some infrastructure that have to be improved. And uh, with, that, with that, and look at legislation, look at the fiscal incentives, look at the, the other incentives on labor, on immigration, uh, mm -hmm. and also on land, is uh, the big uh, 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 incentives that we are giving to investors, mm -hmm. and they are coming. Okay, Dr. Nala, what's also interesting, I mean, we're looking at special economic and free zones, uh, and of course, this is a large, uh, of course, incentive, not only for investors, but also for those doing business uh, in the area. What kind of uh, incentives are we looking at? I know that they're fiscal and non-fiscal incentives. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, uh, I can give you uh, uh, two examples. On, on non-fiscal incentives, when we talk about land, uh, we have Gazeta, we have some portion of land that uh, to acquire that land, you don't need to go through the whole process because we already gone to that process. So it's more easier for the investor to get the land and to invest. In terms of um, uh, 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 immigration, it's also the same. And uh, 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 it extends not only for the investor, but also for the family and for all the relatives that they come to invest. Uh, the, the other part is the fiscal incentives. I'm just giving you a few examples. The other part is on fiscal incentives, where you have uh, uh, duty-free on imports of all equipment, all raw materials for the life of the project. Yeah. Dr. Nala, I mean, I know that you're also working with a lot of investors that are interested in doing business in Mozambique. I mean, are, what, what kind of investors are we looking at? Uh, what are the characteristics? And I mean, I'm not only talking geographically here, uh, but give us an indication of those that are actually interested. We, as you know, Mozambique is a country that has a lot of potential on agriculture, and the government is so keen on having uh, uh, agro-processing, agro-business investors. And also, uh, as uh, we all know, with this uh, 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 coal and gas, we, have, uh, uh, we are looking for investors that can uh, give some value added to the, to the minerals that we have. Fantastic, Dr. Nala. We have to leave it there. Thank you, sir, for joining us. That was Daniel Nala, uh, General Director of Gazeta.